guys, it's Jocelyn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I will be attempting to put up a Pinterest DIY photo board? Photo wall? Whatever it's called. Um, you see the circling all over Pinterest, but I actually saw somebody do it on TikTok. So basically, I was going to do this in my dorm room, but unfortunately, my classes are online now. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to put up a photo wall in my room because I think it will be very cool to look at, especially since my TikTok lights are around it. But I created a Pinterest board. If you want to follow me on Pinterest, you can get all the images off of that or pretty much all the images that I used off of that. So what I did was that I saved all the pictures off of Pinterest and plus some that I wanted to throw up on my wall of me and my friends or me and my family and I ordered them off of Shutterfly. It took about two weeks for these pictures to come in and they're surprisingly higher quality than what I thought. I got a bunch of four by sixes. Um, some are sideways though and I'm not sure how many I got. I think if I remember correctly, it's like 200 something pictures um, and that was because I thought I was gonna have a dorm room all to myself because of COVID but I'm not, so now I have a lot of pictures. I feel like a lot of work is gonna go into this. So it's an all day thing. It's currently like 11 a.m. right now. Yeah, so the vibe that I was going for was going to be like a surfer travel vibe, good vibes, that kind of thing. So to stick the pictures up on the wall, I'm going to try a few things. I'm not sure what works because the wall behind me is very textured. It's not like normal drywall, so I don't know what will stick and what will not stick. I grabbed the Scotch Mounted Indoor Interior double-sided tape. I know I use these to stick up my Polaroid pictures, so I know they for sure stick. And then I got mounting putty and I got four of these. <laughs> it said it'll work to stick up photos, papers, and other lightweight items. And it's you can use it on most surfaces. So hopefully this will work. I don't know. I don't want my pictures to be falling down, you know? So these are like themes that I'm going for. This is what I was talking about, about my wall being textured. It's like not normal drywall. It's like bumpy and rough. And also we have these two little things that we have to worry about, but I'm not gonna take them out. And then we have to worry about this. So we'll get there. So here is the wall that I'm doing. It's gonna go all the way up there and then down the middle. The first thing that I have to do is figure out spacing because I need to know whether I should gap them so it will fit evenly or if I can, if it fits all the way across, just lining them up. Okay, so it like barely fits. Like there's like this much space. You know what, we're just gonna have to layer some of them, which is fine. Not really what I wanted to do with my Okay, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna try this putty first. And if it doesn't work, then I have four things of putty. It was like $17. Ooh. Why is it literally, the paper is literally stuck to me. <laughs> so I have to warm it up. That's what my mom said, yep. Have to warm. I don't think it's gonna stick on my wall. I'm gonna put up one picture. Actually, it is sticking to my wall. I just have to press down really, really hard. Maybe I should try this. Cause I don't wanna stick them all with putty and then, then just fall down constantly. I think this Scotch mounting double-sided tape works way better than the other stuff. I should have grabbed more. This is only 15 feet.
Alrighty, so I'm about like one fourth there and I think I'm gonna run out of pictures so I really have to not layer them as much. Also, a lot of them are crooked, which is bothering me, but what are you gonna do about it? Right now, I'm gonna take a cleaning break and clean up all these little pieces from the sticky stuff, and then I'm gonna try to like fix some of the pictures. No way, I forgot to film an outro, but I think I did forget and the video was like not even halfway done. So this is the outro. Um, I'm gonna put a clip right here of what it looks like whenever my lights are on. Yeah, so it's super cool. I didn't get to go on the tops. I ran out of pictures, but I'm gonna be ordering a bunch more. Um, once again, I created a Pinterest board. If you want to go follow that, it's called Straight Vibes. And um, I'll have my Pinterest down below or like somewhere on the screen. So you should totally follow that if you like some of the pictures that I've shown. I also made two TikToks um, of the wall process and kind of like making it. So if you want to go check out my TikTok just to see like what it looks like, you can. But as you can see, it looks a little janky, but... Um, so, I'm still so mad that I forgot to film an outro. Sorry the video is really short, um, I guess I just gave up halfway through and don't, er don't even remember giving up. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you make a wall like mine, then tag me in your video and I'll watch it. Or like, oh wait, you can't tag on YouTube. Can you? Comment down below if you make one and then I'll watch it. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.